Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to post Instagram Reels from Google Drive automatically. So I own a digital marketing agency which specializes in managing the social media handles of various fitness coaches and influencers. Now one of the clients requests that they regularly want to upload Instagram Reels based on workout tutorials. But doing it manually is going to take a lot of time. Therefore, I will simply automate this entire process by simply setting up a connection between my Google Drive and Instagram in such a way that whenever I'm going to upload a video on my Google Drive folder, automatically that same video will be shared as a reel on Instagram. And in order to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn step by step that how we can automatically upload Instagram Reels from Google Drive. So here I'm going to set up a connection between my Google Drive and Instagram in such a way that as soon as I'm going to upload a new video in a specific folder of my Google Drive, that video will be uploaded as a Reel on Instagram, that too without any manual efforts. Now. I own a digital marketing agency that specializes in managing social media for fitness influencers. So one of my clients recently requested that they want to share daily workout videos and motivational clips related to fitness on their Instagram handle which I am managing. Now I am not going to do it manually every time because uploading Instagram reels along with captions on regular basis is really a time consuming process. So I will simply automate this process. Now to automate this process I have to set up the connection between my Google Drive where I am going to upload the videos and Instagram. Okay, and here I'm going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all of our repetitive tasks without the requirement of any coding as well as any programming skills. So we are on the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, you will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. In case if you are already an existing user like me, just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button. When you will click on this button, you will be able to create your free new account and it is going to take just two minutes. Once you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, currently, because I am already an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, you are going to use Pabli Connect. So we'll click on access now. And it is going to take us towards the dashboard of our Pabli Connect account. So on this dashboard, we will be able to see all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows separately and accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we need to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box is appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Post Instagram Reels from Google Drive automatically. After giving the name to my workflow, here I'm going to select the folder. So you can see I have a list of folders over here. I'm going to select social media automations and as my folder because I want to save this workflow in the given folder. And then I will simply click on create. Now, as we have done that here, you can see a new screen is open in front of us, which contains two extremely important windows. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or the building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire automation workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Let's suppose here my objective is that whenever I'm going to upload a new video in a specific folder of Google Drive, that video should be uploaded as an Instagram read. Okay, so for that, here we are going to take Google Drive in trigger and Instagram for business in action. So when we are going to set up the connection between these two applications, we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the video is uploaded in Google Drive folder, then only that video will be shared as real on Instagram, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us quickly start creating our automation step by step. To start the workflow, first of all, we have to go towards our trigger step and we have to select our trigger application. So our trigger application over here will be Google Drive because in order to get the videos from our Google Drive, we have to first of all set up the connection between our Google Drive account and Public Connect. So let's select that. 
then we have to select the trigger event now what is trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start you can see we have a list of events over here new file new folder new file in a specific folder new folder updated file and etc so on the happening of whichever event we want to fire this workflow fire this trigger we have to select that event over here so i want that whenever a new file will be uploaded in a specific folder of my google drive account then the workflow should get trigger so new file in specific folder will be my trigger event over here as we have done that now we have to set up the connection so you can see i've already logged into my google drive account now i will click on connect to build this connection between pably connect and google drive for that we have two options over here add new connection or select existing connection so first of all i'm going to go with add new connection to build a new connection with my google drive account okay in case if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that once we have done that let's click on sign in with google and here we have to select our account now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account and it is 100% safe. So we can simply click on allow without any fear. As we have done that here our authorization has become successful and the connection between Google Drive and Pabli Connect is successful already. So we'll move forward here it is asking us for the folder or the subfolder. You have to select the specific folder or subfolder that when the video will be uploaded in that you want to capture the response okay. So I'm going to take you towards my Google Drive account. And over here you can see that I have a list of folders on my account. So I want to select this Instagram Reels folder. I will open it. And you can and I want that whenever I'm going to upload a new video related to fitness tutorial over here in this particular folder with the name as Instagram Reels, then only I want to capture the response. So for this, I will go back towards Pabli Connect and here we have already selected the folder name that is Instagram Reels, okay? So when we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request button, we will receive the response. But before that, here I have to tell you one more important thing that you can see 10 minutes is given in front of Google Drive. That means Google Drive is based on 10 minutes of polling time. Now what is polling time? Polling time is actually the time which Pabli Connect is going to take in order to capture the new response because we have 10 minutes of polling time for Google Drive. Then whenever we are going to upload a new video inside of our Google Drive folder, okay which we have connected then after 10 minutes the response will be captured inside public connect and after 10 minutes of uploading of that video inside google drive the workflow is going to trigger over here okay so that means public connect is going to check for new data in 10 minutes now when we are going to click on save and send test request button we are going to receive the response of the latest video or the last video which was uploaded on our folder so what i will do in order to capture the new response i am going to upload a new video over here on my google drive folder and then i will click on this button save and send test request okay so here i'm going to click on this new button and i'm going to upload a new file over here in this folder over here, I have uploaded a new video with a name as Your Daily Dose of Motivation. Okay, and as soon as I've uploaded this video in my Google Drive folder, I'm going to go back towards Pabli Connect and now I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request button. As we have done that, here we have received a response. So in this response, we have received multiple details. Here we have the web content link. That means the URL of the video. When we'll scroll down here, you can see we have the title of the same video that is your daily dose of motivation this is the same title which we have uploaded of the video okay this means that our connection between google drive and public connect is absolutely successful and now whenever a new video will be uploaded in my google drive folder the response of that video with all the details will be captured inside public connect after 10 minutes okay once we have received this response our objective is to share this particular video as a reel on instagram account but before sharing the reel we will first have to create a reel with this video okay for that we have to connect our instagram for business account and public connect so let's go towards our action step and our action application over here will be instagram for business let's select that you can see i'm already logged into my account as well so the connection will be easier now here we have to select the action event that will be create reel video Okay, let's click on connect. Now to build this connection, I'm going to go with the existing connection only as I've already built the connection earlier. But in case if you want to create a new connection, then you have to select add new connection option. And then you have to go with connect with Instagram for business. As you will select your account, your connection will be successful. Then we'll click on save. And as given that, you can see that Instagram for business is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move forward. Here, first of all, you need to select your Instagram account to use, okay, which is already selected over here. Then you have to provide the video URL, the URL of the video which you want to create as real, okay. So we have already received the URL of the video in our earlier response from Google Drive. So what we will do, instead of entering the URL manually, we will simply map the URL over here. So mapping is inserting data from previous step. In order to automate the process, we use mapping because it makes the data dynamic. So here we have our previous response and we have all the details. We want to map the web content link that is the URL of the video. So we will simply select it and it is mapped over here. As we have mapped this URL, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, it is going to replace automatically. So 
now whenever a new video will be uploaded in google drive folder and the response of that video will be captured inside pably connect then automatically the url is going to replace over here in this field with a new url of that new video and in this way we are going to automate the entire process of creating the reels from google drive videos okay now here it is asking us the caption so what is the caption of this particular reel so the caption will be the title which i have received from google drive but here we can see that in the title we have also received dot mp4 we have to remove it how we are going to do that with the help of text formatter so what we will do every time when we are going to upload a new video we are going to upload the video with the title only because it will be acting as a caption of a reels okay but in the response we are going to definitely receive the title along with dot mp4 we have to remove it every time so how we are going to do that with the help of text formatter let's click on this add action step button in between and here we are going to use the action application as text formatter which is an amazing feature of Pabli which helps us to format the text in the workflow according to our requirements. Our action event over here will be split text. That means we are going to split the title and we are going to remove the extra part which we do not require from that title. We are going to click on connect and the connection is already built. Now it is asking us text which you want to split. The text will be mapped over here. What we want to split? We want to simply split the title. Okay. So here I have mapped that and because we have mapped this title it is going to automatically replace now with each and every new response. Then it is asking us the separator. What value you want to use in order to separate this text? I want to separate the title from this point mp4 because I want to remove dot mp4 every time from this particular title. So here I am going to simply use dot as the separator. And then here it is asking a segment index. What segment of this text you want? I only want the first part. Okay, only the title. So I will select first as the segment index and I will click on save and send test request button. As we have done that here we have received the exact title and we are going to map it over here in the caption field. Okay done here i have selected true then if you want you can select the thumb offset and also if you want to provide a particular cover photo or the thumbnail of your particular reel then you can also provide url for that cover photo of your reel in this particular cover url field but i do not want it so i'm going to keep it blank and i will simply click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response so that means the reel is created now once the reel is created our objective is to simply share this reel on our instagram account to post it Okay, but in order to do that, we will simply read the important note given over here. Publishing reel over Instagram business account is a two step process. You need to create a reel container ID using create reel action. Once you will do that, once you have reel ID created, you can publish that media over Instagram account using publish video action. For better results, you can use a delay step above publish video action step. Now you have created reel successfully and you have also received the ID. But to share this reel, to upload this reel on Instagram, it will take some time. So you cannot immediately do that therefore it is asking us it is advising us to use delay step so what i will do i will simply add an action step button and i will use delay as my action application delay is an amazing feature of family which helps us to delay the workflow according to our requirements for a specific duration required in the workflow okay so here we have to select the action event that will be add time delay and we'll click on connect. Now here it is asking us how much delay you want to put in workflow. We have two options over here, delay for or delay until. Now if you want to delay your workflow for a specific duration such as for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 day etc. Then you can use delay for function. But if you want to delay your workflow until next date, until a specific date, then you can go for delay until option over here. I just want to delay the workflow so that the reel could be prepared for uploading and it is going to take only 4 to 5 minutes maximum. So here I'm going to go for delay for option and I will select the delay unit as minutes and the value will be 5. I'm going to delay the workflow for 5 minutes. I'm going to click on save and send test request button and the delay is applied. So our workflow is delayed after the creation of the reel for 5 minutes and after this we are going to simply share the reel. So we'll click on this add action step button and our action application will be Instagram once again over here. Let's select that. Then we have to select the action event that will be publish video story we'll click on connect and as we have done that we'll go with the existing connection only so the connection is built successfully now the instagram account we have to select it is already selected as you can see then we have to provide the photo or video id which we have received from create video response so here we have the create video response and here we have the id of the reel which is created and here it is also saying that you have to apply the delay so we have already done that as you can see we'll simply click on save and send test request button and as we have done that here the response is received in this response we have received an id this means that the reel is successfully shared on our instagram account so i'm going to take you towards instagram and over here we'll refresh the page once as we have done that here you can see that the reel is shared when i'm going to open this reel here you can see that the 
title of this particular reel is given as the same your daily dose of motivation as we have received from google drive this means that our connection between google drive and instagram for business is absolutely successful now whenever we are going to upload a new video in the specific folder which we have connected of google drive with pabli connect then automatically by using that video a reel will be created in instagram and it will be posted automatically as instagram reel so this is an amazing automation which helps you to be consistent in your instagram account in order if you want to share the reels you just have to upload a video in your google drive folder and automatically after uploading a video in google drive the reel will be created and also it will be shared automatically on your instagram handle okay so i hope this video is helpful for you and it's clear to you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.